Iris Dallin Art Museum <laughs> here at the Jefferson Cutter House. And who would have ever thought 20 years ago this weekend that we'd be celebrating Yahoo! such a party? It wasn't, if it wasn't for two distinguished groups of people, particularly, and I'd like to introduce at this moment, um, where are they? You're hiding back there. Get out here in front where we can <laughs> see you. <laughs> then you can yeah, yeah, he's, he's looking at you. Dick and Jane Bowler Ian. are two. Ian. Ann Bowler, excuse me. You're fired, Ryan. Anyway, they, uh, they're, they're one of the founders of the museum, along with myself and Jerry Tremblay. And uh, actually, we um, were hoping a couple of other founders would have made it today, and some of them we weren't able to do. But uh, there was David Formanak, and there was Jonathan Finer, there was Nora Frank, and there was um, uh, Patricia Kahn. Coffey, and uh, there was also Joe Aurelio and uh, um, Perry Neubauer. That, that was the gist of the founders that were on the Cyrus Dallin Art uh, Committee to look for the t sculptures of Cyrus Dallin in the town buildings. And we found 23 sculptures, and it was through the efforts of these founders who decided that we were not going to put them back in the cellars and attic. Yes. People needed to see them. And now, what started out with 23 sculptures, an oil painting, and a drawing by John Singer Sargent, we now have about 93 sculptures. We've probably got two, three cab uh, cabinet loads of archives, and we're known all over the country. without the express generosity of quite a number of individuals, some of whom are here. First of all, the Cyrus Dallin family, uh, Glenn Doherty, who is a great-grandson, and his wife, uh, Barbara Milhouse, and Pat McCabe. Uh, she's a great-granddaughter of Cyrus oh. Dallin. And uh, if it wasn't for the Dallin family, their love, their support, financial as well as gifts, that, and they've been here in most of our events. We are so grateful to your family for helping us get make Dallin known again. And, and, the, and the final goal is what I was saying. The chairman, the former chairman of the Board of Selectmen, who was here on October the 18th, 1998 with the Dallin family and yours truly to cut the red, red, red ribbon to open up this <laughs> building, Mr. Stephen Gilligan. <laughs> Along with that, we have members of the Board of Trustees and they're scattered around, so rather than, but Sarah Burks is one of our co-chairmen and she and the Board of Trustees